Hello everyone, welcome to School After Hours Podcast, where we talk about all things related to out of school time programming and education. I am your host Jay Lee, and on today's show we're going to do things a little different. So today we're going to go on a trip. Yes we are. We're going to go to one of my favorite stores to get some inspiration for educational resources, but also it's a good place to hang out with family and just get some books, go learn about some music or get some music and some other things at the same time. So we are going to be taking a trip to Second and Charles. Wait a minute. Before we go exploring, let's go ahead and find Will so he can give us some information. So we're privately owned by the same people who own Books a Million. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they really wanted it to be like a destination. That's where Second and Charles came from. Uh, I believe it was uh, someone's relative's named Charles, mm -hmm. um, the, the owner. And uh, we want it to be, you know, the used bookstore. Uh, so we have, um, you know, we're doing everything we can to keep used bookstores alive in this day and age. So we do much more than books. Uh, we have everything from you know, music, CDs, vinyl, DVDs, uh, collectibles. We buy in things is really the special part of us. Um, so we have our buyback counter. We're really two stores in one. Um, so we have you know the, the same retail experience as everyone else where the truck comes up and we downstack and deliver. But most of our product actually comes through the front door. Um, so you know uh, people can bring us books, you know, all those things I listed earlier. Um, and we'll make an offer of cash or store credit on them and then those go out to the floor too so there's always something new in here uh, the something you may have seen last time may be gone so there's always you know something exciting and new going on We actually have a, a teacher's discount, so you know, prefer classroom items, uh, but it's a 20% discount. Uh, we also run Teacher Appreciation Week, so we just had one where kids' books are used are going to be buy five, get five free. Uh, if you spend a certain amount, I think the uh, minimum this time was $20, you get $10 in store credit. Um, so that way you can keep, you know, trade in your school stuff, get new things, and keep the whole thing flowing. And we usually run those like twice a year. Uh, so kids' graphic novels has been doing really, really well lately. I don't know if it's all the, the bad guys or whatever, uh, you know, Babysitter's Club that are popular nowadays. Dogman's taken off a lot, so uh, we get a lot of those in. Um, in terms of kids' sections, uh, you know, kids' fiction's always popular. We have a good best books table. Um, we have people come in every uh, summer ahead of school, so with school reading lists, we have a classic section, so it's not just for the little kids, we have the high schoolers as well. Uh, we have a whole classic section, you know, everything from Jane Austen to uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and all those good folks. Uh, so, um, because we're still a young, a young company, things kind of get changed as we go along. Uh, we always have sales going on. The easiest way to find those is, you know, uh, checking our Instagram account. We post on social media pretty regularly. Uh, we'll do things like, you know, buy two, get two, or buy five, get five free on like CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, kids books, uh, buy one, get one half off on plush. Uh, we're about to have one for buy two, get one half off on vinyl. Uh, we do different things all over the time and sales do ramp up over the holidays. Uh, for the moment, we're working our way towards a re rewards program, uh, but we have something called text to mobile where if you sign up, uh, you'll get sent a 10% off coupon. And then after that, there'll be extra uh, sales that go out just to the people who have signed up. Uh, we had a huge one last month where it was 22% off your entire purchase, no minimum, no limit. Um, so it's always something a little different, but we definitely have a lot of sales coming up for the holidays. Uh, we're also, we do uh, donation drives. Uh, we just had one for Crenshaw Elementary where we raised $7,000 in books for them. Uh, they're coming to pick that up later today. Uh, as we get into the holidays, we do book and toy drive for VCU Children's Hospital. Um, so yeah, we do donation drives too. I got my hands in a little bit of everything. So I, I read manga, I read books. Uh, I used to read a lot of sci-fi, um, typical nerd boy stuff, but now I read poetry. Um, I really come to enjoy that, just like the quiet time of reading. I uh, play video games, vinyl. Uh, I got my hands in a little bit of everything. Let's see, so uh, you can follow us on Instagram. Uh, you can give us a call. Uh, we have 
let's see. Uh, I have business cards up front. Um, just always feel free to give us a call, and we can walk. You. We know there's. I always tell people we know there's a lot going on, and it's always changing. You can always give us a call, no matter what we're doing. We're not too busy to help someone find a book or point out what's going on. So just come on in. One of my favorite sections in this store is the kids section. As you can see, they have a variety of things for you to choose from for when the children come with you and they wanna look around and you know, get into some things. But one of the things that I do love about the store is that they have a Lego section. In the Lego section, you're able to pick out the Legos that you want and pay a specific amount by the ounce for the Lego that you choose. So I think that's really, really cool. And it gives you a space to be creative and it's open for kids to play with so they could start off building some things and if they wanna finish, they could just go ahead, pack them up in a Ziploc bag, take them to the cash register, and when you check out, they can go ahead and ring it up for you. I think that is a wonderful idea especially giving kids a creative space in the store. But also, as you see, they have other items around the kids section as well. One of the things that I like is to come into this section if I'm looking for things to add to my treasure box. As you can see over here in this area, they have the X and O's, the tic-tac-toe, um, and other things that you could choose from to add to your treasure box for the kiddos. So that's another thing that could be, this area could be used for little treasure box ideas or even little takeaway gifts that you wanna give your kids at the end of the the year for the classroom or for after school time programming. Everybody, you have found me in the kids section where we are at the book wall. So these are all of the wonderful books that they have up for the children and families to see once they come in. I like coming to the book wall because it gives me an idea of some of the things that I may want to teach or focus on with in my class. So depending on what lessons or what themes that we're following when it comes to social emotional learning. Um, but also when it comes to diversity at the same time in publication, having things that the children could relate to in their worldly and everyday environment, but also see a little bit more of themselves in the books at the same time. So when I come to the wall, I look at all of the things they have. So you'll see me here pulling out things, sitting on the floor like the rest of the children and just having a good time. So this is where a good portion of inspiration comes from. I like a good Dr. Seuss. We are in the beginner reader sections for your students or for your children that are getting their pace and getting their stride for learning how to read. They have a variety of options to choose from in this section. And for those of them that are a little bit more advanced, their stuff is probably a little bit closer in the front. But as you are further back, you'll go ahead and see what they have available for you, um, depending on your child's level. And it's separated out into a letter. So as you pick up things and you look at them, you can get an idea of what's what. <laughs> Mask feed them more. This one's a good one. So usually around this time, summer is wrapping up, so school is starting. This is my greatest time to be here because I see all of the good things that happen during the summer as far as books are concerned. So it gives me a chance to kind of surf through all the good reads, see if there's anything on sale, but also pick out my good, good stuff to read for the year. Um, outside of professional development things, you know, sometimes you have to have your exciting reads or your ooh, spicy stuff.
So I'm the assistant general manager. My name is Caleb. Uh, I've been working here for a little while now. So this is our buyback section of the store. It's pretty much a small pawn shop that is inside of our store. Uh, customers can come by, uh, they can bring either books, goods, video games, pretty much anything we sell in the store. And uh, we give them a cash offer or an in-store credit offer. Uh, if they decide to take their offers, we'll go ahead and bring it in, we sticker it, and then we can sell a bunch of neat stuff. Uh, and some of our more rare things are in these cases. We get some uh, higher priced Funkos sometimes. Uh, we have a whole video game case. Uh, over here we have some more of our rare games that are, you know, they can get a little pricey over here. Um, but again, not just games, we also have our collectible figures. Uh, we have action figures up there. We have a lot of our cool statues that are up there. So we're always getting new things. You can always come in, give us a call, follow us on our Instagram, and you can see sometimes we'll post some of the neat things that we get. Um, yeah, come check it out. Another area of the store that I spend a lot of time in is the movie section. So I'm usually stuck between either the action section or the comedy section. I love a good comedy. Another section I might sneak a peek at is the drama section. So usually they have pretty good romantic comedies uh, that I will look at or a good sci-fi mystery kind of blend of action movie that brings a certain level of drama to the screen. So I look in that area too, just to see what they put on the shelf. That's kind of new and exciting. Here comes the good part. Who doesn't love a good music section? Yes, I completely support it. So in this section, as you see, you can buy certain instruments that they have on display, but also they have CDs for your enjoyment. Also, vinyl is making a comeback, so they have a nice size vinyl section for you. You have different things from country, you have R&B, you have hip hop, Happy 50th birthday, hip hop. Love to see that you are doing so well and 50 you've never looked so good. And in honor of that, whipping out a Biggie Smalls <laughs> album that I happened to find in the, um, in the box. So just a lovely section and just a variety of things that you could pick from. Well, everybody, we are wrapping this one up. We are done with our store visit for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this, or go ahead and post this on Second and Charles. For Second and Charles, we'll go ahead and let you know. But it was a really, really good time. I enjoyed being here. Yeah, I, good thing I didn't get lost in the book session this time. I always get lost in the book session. It's a habit, it's a problem. Uh, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. But hopefully you enjoyed and uh, we'll catch up with y'all soon. Bye. Well, everyone, that brings us to the end of our show. If you liked what you heard and you enjoyed our conversation, make sure that you're following us on YouTube, but also hit that like button so we know what you are enjoying. You can also find us on other podcast platforms like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts if you want to listen to our audio version as well. To get more behind the scenes stuff, make sure that you're following us on our social media accounts, Instagram and Facebook at School After Hours. Well, that's all I have for today. 
In the words of Mr. Arthur Ashe, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Until next time, y'all. Bye-bye.